Good morning everyone, Morgan here, Certified Personal Trainer, Nutritional Coach, and the Fitness and Conditioning Instructor for Gather for Him Christian College. Today I'm just going to show you some body weight exercises, and for my class I want you to pick some of these and put together your own workout and then send it to me. Here's a quick shot of what we're going to be doing. I will also send you the document in an email later today and you guys can email me, text me, whatever you need to do. If you have questions, I can also show you. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, make sure you guys foam roll and stretch before you begin. The first one we're going to do is just your basic wall sit. So you're just going to find a wall, any wall. We're going to come down. Your feet are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to sit and hold it. Go as long as you can. Shoot for a minute, but if you make it to 30 seconds too, that's great. Okay, flat, back's flat against the wall, toes forward, and your knees aren't over your toes. Next, we have just our basic squat. You're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to come down and squat as low as you can. Just a side view. Squat. Your bottom wants, needs to be low. It's like you're coming down and sitting in the chair. Come back up and squat. Okay. Next is a sumo squat. This one, your feet are wider than shoulder width. Your toes are out. You're going to come down. Again, same thing, squat. Make sure your back is as flat as you can be. I don't want you to lean forward, it needs to be flat. Show you from the side, toes out, squat. Okay, here's a split squat. So you're gonna start with feet shoulder width apart, step back, come down. You don't want your knees over your toes, switch sides. If you need to lean forward a little bit when you come down, that's okay. Just don't put your knees over your toes. All right, now we have a side lunge. So feet are wider than shoulder width, toes are forward. And then you're gonna come down to the side. You're gonna bring your booty down a little bit. Try not to have your knees over your toes. Again, your feet are flat to the ground each time. Curtsy lunge. A little wider than shoulder width. You're going to take one foot and step behind the other and come down into a lunge. Same thing, you don't want that front knee over those toes. Front foot's forward. On the side. That's a curtsy lunge. Next, we have donkey kicks. So I'm going to show you without a band and then with a band. So your core is tight. You want to keep your foot flex that's coming up. You're going to kick up. Okay. Squeeze your butt at the top. Okay. And if you have mini bands, you want to just take them. Put one around your ankle. And then the foot that's going up in the air, you're going to put the band on the middle of the foot. Same thing, foot's flexed. You're going to come up. Squeeze your bottom at the top. This just adds a little bit of resistance to the move. Okay, that's a donkey kick. All right, next I'll show you a single leg bend over. So here, your feet are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to start. Find a spot on the floor and try and keep your eyes on it. This is a slower movement. You're going to come up. The foot that's coming up is going to have the flex. You're going to come up and bend over. You should feel this in the foot that's on the ground in the hamstring. A little bit in the calf. Okay. 
Try not to touch your foot to the ground, but if you have to, that's okay. There's a slight bend in the leg that's on the ground. And remember to keep the foot flexed on the leg that's extending. Single leg bend over. Next we have bridges. So you're gonna be back's flat, feet are shoulder width apart, hands are on the ground, head stays down. We're gonna come up and squeeze, okay? Squeeze the butts. Hold it. Keep your core tight the whole time you're doing this as well. And make sure you remember to breathe. Here's a different way to do it. One foot's up in the air. Foot's flexed. Come up and come down. That's a bridge. Next we have calf raise. So if you have a stair at home, that would be great. If you don't have anything, that's okay too. You just want to come up on your tippy toes, squeeze that calf muscle. Okay, calf raises. All right, now we're gonna do a basic push-up. I'm gonna do just a standard push-up. My feet are just a little less than shoulder width apart. My hands are even with my shoulders. You're gonna look a mm, tiny bit ahead of you and you're gonna come down, core is tight, and come back up. If you need to drop down to your knees, that's okay too. Okay. That's a push-up. Next, we have a Spider-Man push-up. So same position. Knee down to the elbow and push up. Okay, if you need to come to your knees, that's really not going to work. So just do a wider stance push up. Lots of different types of push ups you can do there. Next, we have mountain climbers. This is a good overall core workout. Get your heart rate up there a little bit so you can start on the ground or you can find an elevated surface like a chair or a table. So you're going to be here, feet are out, core's tight, you're just going to come in. Bring the knees to the elbows. Okay, mountain climbers. Now we have shoulder caps. So this is a, also a core movement, also works your shoulders. So you're going to be in the high plank position. You need to make sure that your core is tight and your back is flat like a table. And then you're going to come up and tap your shoulders. The whole point of this is to keep your core tight. You shouldn't have much of a wobble when you're switching hands. Shoulder, these are shoulder taps. Core is tight. Remember to breathe. Okay, now we have up down planks. So on this one, you're gonna start in the high plank as well. You're gonna come down to the elbow and come back up. So I do so many per side and then I switch to the other side and start with the other side. Again, you don't wanna wobble. Your core is tight. That's an up down plank. Okay, so I'm going to show you a tricep pull down using a mini band. So from the side, you can do this standing as well. You're going to have one hand like this, and the hand that you're, the triceps that you're working is going to be down at the side of your leg. So you're going to come up and squeeze the tricep at the bottom. Okay, so this is a tricep pull down. So remember to squeeze that tricep. Okay. Next we have bicep curls with the mini band. So just put one the band under your knee, grab the middle of the band, basically the middle of your leg, and come up and squeeze. So when I say squeeze, I mean squeeze your biceps. Flex your biceps, 
Do not squeeze your hands. If you realize that you're squeezing your hands, release your grip and concentrate on squeezing the bicep at the top. Okay. Now here's a back movement with a mini band. So you're gonna start feet shoulder width apart, slide bend in your knees, the bands are gonna start above your head, and then come up and squeeze at the bottom. So pull out in front of you, you should feel this in the back of your shoulder blades when you come down. Okay. Just remember to squeeze. Okay. That is a banded pull down and that works your back muscles. Next we have supermans. This is also a core, also good for your lower back. So you're going to be on your belly. Hands out in front of you, just like Superman. And you're gonna come up, bring your hands up, and squeeze. Squeeze your butt cheeks. And hold for two seconds at the top. Then come back down. Just remember to squeeze your bottom when you come up. Okay, those are Superman's. Okay. Next, we have fresh and twist. This is an ab movement. Works mainly your obliques here. So your feet are up in the air and you're just gonna twist. Core is tight and you're just going side to side. Russian twist. Next, we have slow scissors. So with this one, you're gonna move your feet slow. Both feet are gonna be flexed. One's gonna be out in front of you. The other one's gonna start at the top. Your head stays down on the ground. And then you're gonna come up, hold, and switch. Keep your core tight the whole time you're doing this. These are slow scissors. Feel that burn all over in your abs again on the obliques okay those are just a few there are so many body weight exercises you can do um, if you have questions or you want to know what some more of those are just let me know um, good luck don't forget put your own workout together and send it to me in an email thanks guys